Spring snowmen. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Gray, and I'm back finally. I know, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Like I just, I just know I'm the worst, so I'm not even gonna speak. But um, I know I look like a fucking snowman right now. But it's like 12 degrees outside, and um, turned on the heat, and it's really not cooking up in my room. So I'm kind of very chilly, and by very, I mean I have sweatpants. I have three shirts on. And I'm um, still fucking cold, so I don't know. I think I've got, got a case of the common cold as well. So if I sound a bit stuffy, that's what's going on. So, um, yeah, it's been a long freaking time. And I'm sorry. Like, uh, there's nothing else I can really say. I've been busy with school. Love school. And I've been busy trying to get into college. Love college. And yeah, I just wanted to make a little update video on what has been going on with myself. Um, um, uh, so a couple weeks ago, I had mono. Um, shout out to my girlfriend, Isabella. Thanks, Bella. Kidding, she didn't give me mono. I don't know how I got it, but I was suffering with mono. It was pretty bad. Um, kind of wanted to die. And... As you know, or maybe you don't know, and you're like, what? I'm not on testosterone. <laughs> no brainer. <laughs> I still look like I'm six. Yeah, so I'm not on testosterone. I take birth control because my periods are thick. I didn't mean it like that, but like, they're just really bad. And, um, ah, let me cross my legs. So my periods are really bad, and that's why I take birth control. I started in like mm, my seventh, eighth grade, probably. I don't know. It's been a long ass time. So when I was um, suffering with, you know, mono, the fucking worst disease ever. Okay, that's a bit dramatic. It's like sleeping all day, partying all night. No, I'm kidding. I was sleeping every fucking waking hour of the day. So I kind of stopped taking my medicine. Kind of went nuts. So kind of like it was like locked in my room for like <sighs> the whole entire week because my mom was like shut up you're sick you're not doing anything and I was like okay and then there's a big fiasco and just like uh, drama you know but anyways not the point my point is take your medicine and then you won't end up like me because now I'm facing the consequences and I have been bleeding for like the past two weeks on and off chunky blood I hate to say that. Just a lot of blood. It's just not a good time for me. And then I just thought, I was like, <laughs> so I was thinking, let's make a YouTube video. I look so fucking thick. Okay, I don't care anymore. My transition. So I came out almost two years ago. Almost. Very close. <laughs> I'm a senior, so sophomore year. Two years ago, it's 2018, 2016, all right? It's almost 20, okay. You get my point. Oh, my parents still won't let me go on testosterone because when I came out, my dad was like, you sooner are not gonna be on hormones in my household. I was like, okay, sure. Like, I thought I'd change his mind by now. But uh, still hasn't changed. And then around the beginning of the year, I've gotten a freaking heated argument. Tears, screaming, you know. Just, it's just a fucking quality Friday night. I'm paying for this shit underneath my insurance, so you can figure this out yourself. So that's what happened to me. Um, I'm almost 18. No, no, that's a fucking fat lie. Um, my birthday's in August, so I'll be 18 in August, and then I can figure this shit out myself. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't know how to do anything because I'm fucking dumb and I don't know how to get my own insurance and I'm just really like praying to the gods up there somewhere that he sir downstairs right now hi dad how are you I'm really hoping that he will change his mind and that I don't have to pay for all of this because look at me I might be cute I might be might be kind of smart but to look like I have money to pay for it? No. I'm not trying to be a spoiled brat, but like clearly I fucking don't. In that like, cause like some colleges 
offer like health programs and usually testosterone, not usually. Some schools like offer it underneath their health care. And I was talking to my mom about it. She was like, you're not going on some other health care. I'm like, then how am I supposed to get what I want free if you guys aren't going to provide me with my needs? Um, to all my homies out there trying to pass like how I am, I think from a distance I pass, I was asked. some people like, they look at me and they're like, okay, you're a boy, like, yeah. And then some people are like, girl. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Like, I I think it's because I'm so short. And that's what we're talking about. It's I'm like five through on a good day. So like, there's like, I have this one friend. I have a bunch of friends. No, I don't. Um, I have like people, people. I don't have people. I don't own people. That's slavery, and slavery has been abolished. That's up for debate. But normal, the normal cisgendered male is about mm, five eight, six foot, you know. And then there's like me <coughs> standing next to them. So then, like, take this is like me, and this is like every other guy in my school. So like, I can see like the misconception of someone being like, that's a girl. But like the way like I dress and I talk and I come off beats me honestly. Like I don't get how I look like a girl. Do I look like a girl? Like I bind, like I don't even have titties. Like I'm not even binding right now. I just don't have titties. Like I'm good. Story time, quick little story time because I'm feeling feisty. So one time I went to this Korean concert with my friend Leah, hi Leah. Probably not gonna watch this because none of my friends like me. But um, went to a concert with Leah and we were in lines for security and they're like, okay, guys in one line, girls in another. I was like, all right, so I went the guys line because I'm a fucking guy. And the security guard dead ass looks at me in the eyes and goes, you're not a guy. And I was like, all right. And then he starts filming me up and I was wearing my little pee pee. I feel so awkward calling it a Packard. That's just my little pee pee. So he fucking smacks me. Fucking ball checks me in the balls. You know what I mean? He goes, no, he was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, yeah, fucking suck a dick. But I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm gonna start World War II if I say something. Three, four. Okay, I'm not gonna say it, but I can't. I'm, I wanna say it, but I cannot. You know why? Because I'll get attacked by all the SJWs out there on the internet. So I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. I'm gonna keep going with my day. So yeah, that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. Honestly, life's been at like an all-time um, plateau. Um, nah, not even a plateau. I just kind of like plateaued, but then I'll like go down a bit and I'll be like plateaued. So it's not like miserable, but it's not like fantastic. So like I'm chilling. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Comment some video ideas because I don't film anything because I don't have any inspiration. Okay, so, so I remember they were walking by. I didn't want to have to make all great conversation with him. So anyways, uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or like anything for me, it's like that's the only reason I don't make videos because I like genuinely sit there. I'm like, this is not what people want to watch. So yeah, if you have any ideas, follow my social medias. They'll be in the description. And yeah, I'll be out and about doing my thing. And I will keep you guys updated. And I promise, pinky, pinky promise, I will make another video soon. Okay, soon. I don't know when, but like, give me ideas and it'll be faster. So yeah, thank you. I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Good freaking bye.